Subject 1. The relationship between the teeth and the lips. Number 3. The peak of the maxillary t h a n t e r i o r teeth is gingiva. We can estimate the root position from the tooth gingiva form. If you watch carefully the gingiva margin, the peak of the gingiva margin isn't always in the center of the tooth. The apex of the tooth root isn't always in the center of the tooth. The ratio of the peak on gingiva margin is 3 to 5. This ratio is what we call golden proportion. This is the case. A 46 year s female, this patient's gingiva line is not beautiful. She complained about the gingiva line. Kangaroo technique, this is my original technique. This is my article 2007. Performed periodontal microplastic surgery using the kangaroo technique on tooth number 9, 10, and 11. Post surgery, 40 days. Post surgery, the patient was very pleased with the result of periodontal microsurgery. Before I describe the sympathetic curves, makes a beautiful smile. The upper lip, sympathetic with the maxillary and anterior gingival margin curves, always makes a beautiful smile. The upper lip, sympathetic with the maxillary and anterior gingival margin curves, makes a beautiful smile. The upper lip, sympathetic with the maxillary and t e r i o r gingival margin curves, makes a beautiful smile. This ratio is a golden proportion, 5 to 3. Looking at the smile from the side angle, we can estimate the root position from the tooth gingival margin form. The right canine gingival margin peak is mesial side. So, smile isn't beautiful. We can estimate the canine's root. So, post surgery, we can estimate the canine's root through the gingival margin shape. Right side is post surgery one month. The smile is improved. The upper lip, sympathetic with the maxillary and t e r i o r gingival margin curves, makes a beautiful smile. If the base of the finger isn't in the ideal position, we feel it's strange. The upper lip, sympathetic with the maxillary and t e r i o r gingival margin curves, makes a beautiful smile. So, left side is not beautiful. So, number four, the contour classification between the c o r n e r t e n d i s and the gingiva. My presentation topic s deals with natural teeth. We have to think about the contour between the gingiva and the c o r n e r t e n d i s I suggest a contour classification between the gingiva and the c o r n e r t e n d i s Diagnosis of the beauty of the smile with natural teeth is very important. Check the relationship between the gingiva and the corner dentist. Thinking about over contour, under contour, or normal contour. So, this is my paper. I wrote an article for Nippon Dental Review. The contour classification between the gingiva and the c o r n e r t e n d i s The contour classification between the gingiva and the c o r n e r t e n d i s Class 1, the gingiva is normal contour to the c o r n e r t e n d i s Class 2, the gingiva is over contour to the c o r n e r t e n d i s Class 3, the gingiva is under contour to the c o r n e r t e n d i s Same, this is a class 1. Normal contour, class 2, over contour, so we call、uh, gummy smile. Class 3 is a recession. 
Same. Class one is normal contour. Class two is over contour. Class three is under contour. So this is a case pretreatment. So situation is a class two. The gingiva is over contour to the corner tendons. So after treatment, post treatment, so class one. The gingiva is no more counter to the corner tendons. Beautiful smile. So pre treatment, class three situation, we call recession. So post treatment, class one, the gingiva is no more counter to the corner tendons. Number five. The relationship between the peak of the gingiva and the upper lip. The peaks of the gingiva margins on the teeth, a cent central incisor canine, and second premolar make the curves. When the upper lip curves are thin plastic, these curves make a beautiful smile. The peaks of the lateral incisor and the first premolar are level. This is very important. The peaks of the gingival margin on the teeth, central incisor, canine, and second premolar make the curves. When the upper lips curves are thin plastic, these curves make a beautiful smile. Each curve peaks is near the canine tooth. This year is 5 to 3. So this is a pre-treatment situation. The upper lips curves earned sympathetic with peaks of the gingival margin on the teeth, central incisor, canine, and second premolar. The upper lips curves earned sympathetic with these curves, so the smile is, isn't beautiful. Post treatment, this is my treatment. The upper lips curves are sympathetic. These curves make a beautiful smile. Each curve peaks is near the canine tooth. The peaks of the gingival margins on the teeth, central incisor, canine, and second premolar make the curves. When the upper lips curves are thin plastic, these curves make a beautiful smile. The peaks of the lateral incisor and the first premolar are level. Thank you for your kind attention.